Hello, this is Eric from Power Room, and today we're going to talk about these plugs and how to basically install them inside of your mortar tube. So if you buy mortars with just the tube itself and they're empty inside, there's no plug, of course you want to plug them. And uh, if they're empty, we want to show you how to do it. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, so here's my plug, uh, here's, excuse me, here's my tube and here's my plug. And you want to do this, put it up here and you're thinking, this is a good way to do it. This is a possible way to do it. This is your, probably your natural, your instinctive way to go ahead and do it. But what I have found is when putting in plugs, and you're doing many of them, is actually just the opposite. You want to go ahead and, and the, put the bevel side up towards the sky, put the plug down, and then what I like to do is take the tube and put it over top, and then I like to hold the tube. This way, that if it's on, if the plug's on top, I just feel like you know it's. Um, I've seen, I shouldn't say, feel like it doesn't go in as good, and sometimes you pray that like the plug might shoot out or something like that. And so we put it like that. So we'll put the t plug on the ground and we'll put the tube over top of it. Now you're thinking, what is this orange hammer right here? Well, this actually is what's called a dead blow hammer, and it's basically a real heavy rubber mallet, and there's steel inside here, some type of heavy material. And I purchased this at um, Harbor Freight. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it. This is a four pound, so it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's got, a, got some nice kick when you hit it down. As you can see, it's black. We've used it quite a few times, and it's had some use. I've had this for a couple of years now, so it lasts quite a while. Sometimes they break off here, but that's pretty typical if you use it for thousands of mortar tubes. So you could probably get away with even a two or three pound, but I like it because it's got a nice big head on here, and this is good for putting in these uh, two inch mortar, two inch plugs. So we'll again, put the plug on the ground, take this, put it over top, and you want to use some elbow grease, and I'm going to hit it pretty hard. I'm going to hold this pretty tight with my left hand. I'm right-handed. I'm just going to hit this pretty hard because the tube just doesn't fall in by itself. So you want to have it nice and straight. Get it leveled up, and you'll get pretty good at it after you do a few of them. I'm going to give it a good whap, so hang tight. So I did it in two times. Stuck it in, and the plug is in. It's nice because it's a good solid surface right here. This is concrete right here. You probably tell that you don't want to install it on something soft. So that gives a good smack, a lot of pressure, and you can see I hit it in with two smacks, and we're good to go. And then of course, well obviously you want to put some staples in here. We staples ours four times, um, 16, 18 gauge staples. It doesn't really matter. If you want to screw them in, you can. I personally prefer um, uh, screw. Uh, excuse me, staples. And this really in and of itself is pretty strong. Don't use it, you want to staple it, but to get this thing out, if you could shove a pipe in here, you want to use a good strong pipe and you can get it out if you need to get it out. Uh, that would be no, you can, you can go ahead and knock it out. But uh, there you go, it's in there and it, it's pretty solid inside of there. Thanks for watching, light up the sky and have a great day.